Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So today we are jumping into the universe survival saga stage of Super Battle Road, uh, which is something I have not done in a very, very long time. Not this stage specifically, but just Super Battle Road as an event in general, ever since I cleared all the missions and got the LRs done a couple months ago. But the thing is, the first time I beat this stage, it was actually like super super hard for me because my universe survival saga team was just really sad like i had barely any units and even the ones i did have had no dupes so it took me quite a few tries but recently with the super saiyan blue kaioken goku banner on global uh my team got a bit of an upgrade as you can see so uh things should go quite a bit easier be quite a bit smoother than they were before at least i'm hoping so here's the team guys, we have my Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku with a single dupe. We have a Rainbow Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. We have a Rainbow MVP 17. We have a Goku and Frieza with a single dupe. We have my Jiren with three dupes in him. And the interesting thing is that I came into this banner with no dupes in Jiren. So he was at 0% or at least he was at 55%. And then in my last three multis I did on the banner, each of those multis gave me a Jiren, so now he went from 55% to 90% in three multis. I mean, I don't mind it, it's fine, it's just I wanted more Gokus, but hey, it's okay, at least I could use him, right? So 90% Jiren, and of course the god of Dokkan, Bergamo, who I'm sure will carry us through this entire stage. And we have a friend, Rainbow Jiren, here as well. So uh, there's the setup items, we have Ghost Usher, we have Icarus, Princess Snake, and Android 8. And without further ado, let's jump in and see how this team performs. Now, as far as the items go, um, I'm gonna try to be somewhat conservative with them. I don't think we'll need to use all the items, but that being said, um, I will still use items as I need to because I'm not really going for a no item run. It's just not really my thing, and I'd rather be safe then have to die and restart right so here we go guys we got the stun off with the Jiren off the bat which is beautiful um, unfortunately that means that Bergamo is not taking any attacks so I think what I'm gonna do is actually take Bergamo out of rotation for now and uh, use him later so I guess we don't have to use any items let's just uh, go for Bergamo here and we're gonna keep attacking Bergamo until he dies then I'll worry about the other guys and I'm sorry guys, I don't know what the names of the other two guys are. I'm sure I heard them at some point when I was watching the show, but they weren't really that important to the plot, so that's probably why I don't remember. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys know or you remember, but uh, yeah, all I know is Bergamo, but I think he's the only one that really matters out of the three. Okay, so uh, right off the bat right now, we have 482,000 attack for Bergamo. Of course, he's not that good until he stacks up a few uh, buffs on his passive so uh, don't mind the, the the low attack stat trust me guys he's still very very good if you guys haven't seen the showcases like the million showcases that are out there already uh definitely check them out i have one on my channel as well for uh the bergamo and super saiyan blue kaioken goku on the legendary goku event and uh they do quite well there they do quite well there so i'm gonna pop an icarus here just be safe because uh supers are still gonna probably hit us pretty hard and we don't have the stun, so, um, should I put the Kaioken Goku there? Uh, he's gonna take quite a bit of damage in the beginning, but, uh, you know, his defense does build pretty fast too. Not as fast as Bergamo's, but I think we should be okay. Like, if we take a few hits before we get supered, just like that, um, we should be fine. Fingers crossed, man. I <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time since I've done Super Battle Road, so I might be underestimating it a little bit. Um, so there's definitely the chance that I do die. And if I die in this run, it, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. If I die before we reach the third stage, then I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna just like cut it and then start from the beginning. If I don't die though, or rather uh, if, I, if I die at some point in the third stage where like we're almost done, then I'm gonna just take the L and all in a day, but either way, man, things are going pretty smoothly right now. Uh, a lot easier than I remember. Like I said, man, back in the day, 
uh, back in the day, as in like a couple of months ago, when I had a lot less uh, Universe Survival Saga stuff, it, it was it was hard, man. Like this stage was actually legitimately difficult for me. Like it, I died quite a few times. Like I said, man, it took me at least four. What would I say? Like four or five? I don't remember, but a, a few tries, right? So uh, today I'm aiming to beat it in the one attempt. And uh, it's looking like we're gonna get there, we're gonna do it, but I, I don't wanna uh, op or over underestimate. I don't wanna overestimate this team. I don't wanna underestimate the difficulty of the event. So we're gonna be extra careful. We're gonna be as, as careful as we possibly can. That's why we're not gonna go for the no item run here. Um, but once again, we're gonna be conservative. So we're not gonna use too many items if we don't have to. And I think that is the second guy de dead so it's just the one tech dude left over once again i don't know what his name is i apologize <laughs> um I, I know they're called the trio of danger obviously but um besides that i, I don't really know what the other guys names are i, I mean, it's, it's disrespect i know it's disrespect but like that doesn't really matter Bergama's the only one that really matters here okay so we got this done again uh, 1.9 mil from Goku. We didn't bring any support on this run because I'm trying to beat the stage, not showcase these guys. So um, we're not gonna see any like crazy, crazy numbers, but still respectable. I mean, the Goku 1.9 mil with a single dupe. I think that's pretty good. Uh, Jiren doing his thing, and uh, Bergamo, of course, had to be the one to finish it off. Even with the normal attack, I mean, it's Bergamo. It's Bergamo. Okay, first stage down second stage on the way uh we had to use one item so far and i don't really think i had to use the item i just wanted to be safe right so things are going well things are going well did we get the stun off ah no stun from jiren so uh what i'm probably gonna do here is maybe i should ghost usher let's let's go for the ghost usher because i actually want to save uh, all these attacks because we have like a lot of attack stacked up in the slots, right? So I wanna save those attacks for the other guys that can stack with each attack taken. So we're gonna actually, yeah, skip that turn. Let's go for Bodomageta here. And Jiren only needs one orb. Can we get the 18 key off? We actually can. So we're gonna go for the 18 key with Go Frieza. And we're gonna go for Khalifla with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Okay, so, so far so good, man. <laughs> Just, just for a quick throwback, it's gonna make me seem a little bit old, but for you guys watching right now who haven't been playing for that long, um, Super Battle Road used to be extremely, extremely hard. You know what, this is for both my OGs and for my new players, but it used to be so freaking hard, guys. Like for my OG guys, or at least for people playing for over two years, do you remember how freaking hard the original stages were when they first came out? Like the monotype ones, right? Like versus AGL or versus STR and so on and so forth. Like it took me, I don't know how long, maybe over a year to at least beat all of them. Like the first couple of ones I could, like for, with my really good mono teams, like Super STR and so on and so forth, I could, you know, beat them after a couple tries. But um, the ones with my weaker teams, especially my extreme teams I had to use, yo, those took me so freaking long to beat, man. I think there were actually a few that I didn't clear until, um until like the first set of category stages came out right so yeah they took me a long time it was it was quite a struggle in the beginning but uh i mean these days it's it's, it's not really that bad is it I mean, for new players it's still hard i understand if you're you haven't been playing for that long it's still really hard it's still an end game stage still an end game mode right but uh for us play man people who've been playing for a while and uh, who went through the struggle of like you know, getting our asses kicked by this event. Uh, it's nice to be able to actually take care of it pretty easily these days. All right, um, enough reminiscing from me. Let's uh, take out Hit here, because I think he's gonna be a bit of a problem. So Jiren's gonna take him out. And then I guess we're gonna go for Kale now with the MVP 17. Here we go. Yeah, man, it's just way, way easier than I remember. I haven't even done the uh, monotype ones in ages, right? So I, I'm imagining that even with, like, <laughs> with today's mono teams, the original Super Battle Road stages should be just a cakewalk. Like not even, I could probably do it in my sleep. 
at, at least for the the ones with the super teams maybe with the extreme teams it's still i still have to pay a little bit of attention but um that being said man it's nothing compared to what they were when they first came out like i just remember it was so funny watching all these youtubers i don't even know if i was was i actually making videos at the time I don't remember, I don't remember, but I just remember watching like Nano and Rhyme and those guys like dying over and over again. Those are some good times, good times. Alright, so people are stunned again. So I'm gonna keep Bergamo out. I, I know you guys wanna see some Bergamo action, but he's just really not gonna help us out too much right now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep him out until we can actually get him to take some hits and uh, actually do something impressive. So yeah. I mean, I feel bad. I feel bad. I would like to use Bergamo more. It's just we don't have a situation where, you know, he can actually do his thing. All right, so I think Khalifla is dead here now. All that's going to be left is Kale. And uh, once Kale's done, then we're moving on to the third stage. So far, did we use an item on this run? Or on, on this stage specifically, the second one? I don't think so. Did we? I don't know. I have really bad memory. We'll find out in just a second. Oh, yo, Kaba's still there. Yo, I, I just forgot he was a thing. I just totally forgot this guy was a thing. Oh, so we did actually use a couple items. Um, What should we do now is the question. What should we do now? How much defense does Goku have? Uh, Goku has 81k. Um, Jiren has 108k. SSBE has uh, a bit more than Goku, actually. So I'm going to keep Goku, uh, Jiren in rotation just because... You know, he has that chance to stun every time. Uh, I should probably still just like pop something for damage reduction. So we're gonna go for the Princess Snake. And let's go for, let's go for Kale. Let's take her out first before we worry about Kaba. Cause once we have the one guy, like it's really not gonna be an issue at all. All right, 1.7 mil. We're gonna get a crit here. Come on, Jared, you, you know you wanna give us the crit. He did not give us the, the additional, no additional either. All right, 1.9 mil from one dupe, Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. We still have not seen the active skill even once yet, which is surprising. But, uh, oh, we actually might get it here for next turn at least. I'm just gonna do 135k. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit. I'm glad I used the item because that would have done easily 200 plus without the item. That was a smart move there. Alright, so now that he's supered us this turn, I don't think he's going to super us again next turn, so we don't have to worry about an item, um, in, at least in the next rotation, and honestly, I'm pretty sure we're just going to... Oh, no, he's stunned, okay. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. So he is stunned, uh, we're going to get the guaranteed crit here with Jiren, and then Goku and Frieza is probably going to finish the job, but if not, then MVP 17 is definitely going to finish the job there. So let's see how much our 3 dupe Jiren does with the guaranteed crit uh one mil okay i mean it's 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 something it's it's not a lot i expected more that's how i was that's why i wasn't like that typed for my jiren pulls even though i knew he was still good um he is a relatively older unit right and uh, his numbers these days compared to some of the newer units is just it's just not that impressive anymore but the stun is still clutch though the stun, the 30% chance to stun at the beginning of the turn is still super, super clutch. So, four super battle road. Okay, you know what? Bergamo hasn't done that much for us, but he still got the spotlight, man. Look at this. Yo, this guy's like, you're not using me in the regular rotation, so I'm going to have to just transform. Um, <laughs> that's okay, man. That's totally fine. And we're actually getting at least two supers off with the Bergamo, which is not something that happens that often. So here we go, giant form for Gamo. We're gonna eat that super for no damage. Fantastic, 364k, damn. Um, one mil attack, so, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Two supers in the first slot. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got the transformation because otherwise, man, I probably would have gotten confident based on how, how chill things have been so far. And uh, that might have been a bad time. Like we could have died there. And then the, I would have the I would have had the tough decision of like whether or not I want to restart to like save face or should I just you know take the L and put it out there, which uh, is not usually ideal. So I'm glad 
I'm glad we got the transformation. I'm glad that uh, we actually got to see some Bergamo action in this showcase, or in this video, in this run. And uh, hopefully we can finish off UI Goku here, so that I can, uh, you know, only have three three guys to worry about after. Uh, no additionals, no additionals. This man's a rainbow. Come on, give me at least one additional in this in this run. I guess not. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I had something no, I had something else on my mind. I totally forgot about it. I'm sure it'll come back to me at some point. But uh, in the meantime, let's just keep going. We got the Jiren stun off once again, which uh, is great, but also not great at the same time because um, it just means that Bergamo's not going to be taking any hits again. So maybe if you guys want to see some more Bergamo action in your runs for Super Battle Road. I would suggest maybe not taking Jiren. He does help, obviously, with uh, reducing the damage you take, the attacks you take, because of the stuns. But at the same time, with the stuns, man, Bergamo's not going to be able to really do much, um, since he doesn't do anything, really, with uh, <laughs> with no hits, right? So, yeah, I, I, would, I would suggest maybe taking out Jiren. I brought the double Jiren just to be safe. And because, you know, I recently got a bunch of dupes in my Jiren, so I kind of want to put him to work and make it feel like... It wasn't uh, as as much of a waste to pull those dupes as opposed to the dupes of the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku I wanted, and uh, yeah, I mean, in that sense, like I'm I'm feeling pretty good because uh, yeah, we are getting actually a lot of good use out of him. We're gonna pop the Princess Snake here. I pop the Princess Snake, and uh, who should I actually put in the front? I, I you know Jiren makes sense there. I just don't want to get supered by. Actually, no, this guy makes sense here. That guy makes sense. Although we can't get the Ultra Super, so maybe Jiren makes more sense. I think Jiren makes more sense. So we're gonna give him the Dokkan attack. Uh, try to get as much damage out of Goku and Freeza as possible, but there's really not. Uh, they don't really hit that hard without any. without the Ultra Super. And. okay, so 3.2k. Let's focus on these. Nodes here, try to get all seven if I can. Three, four, five, six. Oh my god, how did I miss that one? No, I had that one perfect. How did I miss it? Okay, that's fine. It's okay. It's it's fine. I'm good. I'm good. So let's just pray that the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution attack is not a super, because I think that one's still gonna hurt even with the Princess Snake active. And hopefully we get a crit actually. Oh no crit? Mm, Alright. Alright, fine. That's 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 okay. Not like you have, tw not like you have like level 20 crit in your hidden potential system or anything like that. And people have been telling me you should actually give Jiren more additionals, but I feel like because it's very condition. Oh, I was just saying I didn't. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. no. I, I, I don't know why I thought the super was on Jiren. No, it's on the Goku and Frieza. That's okay. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, people have been telling me to give him additionals because he has the chance to, you know, stun and crit. But in my mind, I'm like. First of all, it's only a 30% chance, right? So you can't really rely on it too much, even though we've been getting a lot in this run, it's been happening a lot in this run, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get it this often um, on average, right? And then on top of that, there's also the, the fact that um, there's a lot of events these days, not including Super Battle Road, obviously, but in general, there's been a lot of events that um, where you can't stun the enemy. So in those in those cases, like there's no, they're, 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 like his that part of his passive is basically useless. So you still want the chance to crit, um, in that sense, right? So I just feel like Jiren still works better with the crits. Um, obviously, you guys can have your own opinions. If you guys think that additionals are better on Jiren, then go for additionals. I'm not gonna stop you. I don't think it's a bad idea per se. I just think that crits still make the most sense for him if you guys have a different opinion let me know in the comments down below maybe we can debate it a little bit but at the end of the day i mean people should build their units the way they want to so i don't think it really matters that much it's not that serious um so yeah okay uh did i i used the ghost Hatcher last time right so now we have just the aiders which i don't think i need to use so i am going to I am going to probably not put Aider 
uh, or not hater, not Pokemon combo at the end because that just seems like a bad idea if uh, we get a super there. So, although the middle could be a super too. Uh, so maybe I should. Uh, it's, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Bergamo does not have anything built up yet. So it, it could actually be pretty bad if we get that super in the middle. Like that could be a one hit KO for us. So I'm, I'm going to be safe a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit safe and just pop that Aider for the extra defense. But at the very least, if we get super, it's not going to be a one hit KO. And then, I think that's going to be it. I think, uh, yeah, okay, so Golden Freeze is dead. Regamo. Alright, supering. Going to build up a little bit of defense from that super, but not enough to really make us feel secure at all. And don't let this be a super. There we go, okay, no super, but even without the super, it's 37k. So yeah, no, good, good choice, good choice. I, I commend myself for that one. I feel like uh, that was a smart move. Alright, so this is pretty much going to be it guys, um, next, oh wow, we're finally getting the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution um, transformation. I didn't even think about the fact that we didn't get it this whole time, but yeah, damn. So, um, we got the stun off, uh, yeah, that's that's game over, that's, <laughs> that's all she wrote guys. So yeah, uh, significantly easier than it was before i i still think i still think you know it's still somewhat of a challenge but honestly like i i didn't have to stress out too much for this run like i did in the past like previously man if you go watch some of my earlier super bad road videos um i would talk to myself a lot more than i did in this run because i'm like yo i don't know man like what if that attack like lands on this guy or like the type disadvantage and so on and so forth and it will take me a lot longer to run these, but it's it's not that hard these days. Like I use more items than I needed to, for sure, for sure. I use more items than I needed to just because I wanted to make this a successful run. But if I if I wanted to be a little bit more risky, I probably could have beat it with maybe only two or three items used. But that being said, yo, for me, my motto is always uh, better safe than sorry. So there you go, guys. That is the Universe Survival Saga run with Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. Not so much Bergamo, but Bergamo did uh, still put in some work for us. So uh, we still love him. And <laughs> that's going to do it for today's run. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are uh, doing with uh, Super Battle Road or the Legendary Goku event. How are you guys are enjoying the Christmas celebration so far? I know some people have been kind of disappointed by the lack of events. Um, hopefully tar part 2 is a lot better. It is coming soon, so I'll have to wait and see. But uh, I, got, I got high hopes. I got high hopes for part 2 of the Christmas celebration on Global for sure. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of the day to uh, watch this video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.